These countries are smaller than you think. We got big Greenland up here, but watch this. I grab him and oh, he gets all shriveled and he's absolutely tiny. That is because a world map is rectangular, whereas the world is round. So in order to draw a round world on a flat map, you've got to make the things on the top and even the things on the bottom way bigger than they actually are. So like I said, even though Greenland absolutely dominates the map, when we bring it down into Africa, it's not that much bigger than Chad. Let's do the same thing on Canada. Look how huge Canada looks. And then what we do is we drag it over to Africa and then it all gets all shriveled down. Canada's still huge, but it's not this huge. And watch when I bring it all the way at the top. Whoa! Oh my god, it starts curving around the earth. Oh my god. Oh, I think I've broken the website. The website I am on, by the way, is called thetruesize.com and I recommend you check it out for yourself. Another thing I like about this website is if you get the little street view fella and you plonk it somewhere, it takes you to like a really nice place in each country. So this is India. I can't imagine many of you have ever seen India looking like this. That looks absolutely glorious. So now what we're going to do is we can also look at specific states and then compare them to countries across the world. So for example, we'll grab Texas, which is the second biggest US state. So, you know, it looks pretty big. But watch what happens when we bring it over to Europe. At this point, we can see that this one US state is like one and a half times the size of Poland. It's a bit bigger than France. If we whack it up to Finland, it stretches right across from Finland to Norway. And then when we bring it down into the equator, look how teeny tiny it gets in Asia. And because Australia is still quite near the equator, it should about hold its size there. But we can see that Texas and New South Wales, they're kind of the same size. Maybe South Australia, yeah. South Australia and Texas are about the same size. So now I want to grab some really tiny countries. So let's go for Luxembourg. So we click it, can barely even see it, but there's the dinky little fella. And now it's Luxembourg's time to shine because we are bringing it right to the top of the map. Here we go, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> oh, it didn't do the big thing that Canada did. That's, that's sad. Sorry, Luxembourg. But what we can do is we can grab little Luxembourg. We'll have a little explore to Africa. <laughs> I'll shove Luxembourg deep in South Sudan. I'm sure it'll have a lovely time there. Now, Indonesia, that's a country people forget is absolutely massive. Because it doesn't look like anything groundbreaking there. But then if you grab it and you whack it across the US, you realize that it is longer the United States east to west. Look at the size of it. And then it'll do the same when we move up to Canada. Look at that. Indonesia's massive. I bet if we go on Street View, they'll find a really pretty area in Indonesia. Here we go. Oh, we Oh, huh. Oh. It's not as nice as I thought it was going to be. You know, that's still lovely, a nice little sunset and that. But I reckon we could go somewhere really nice. I want to look in the Caribbean. What we'll do is we'll go to Trinidad and Tobago. This is where Pirates of the Caribbean was filmed. I'm well up for it. Oh, this lady's having a lovely time. Oh, there we go. We got some palm trees. I reckon it could get nicer, though. I want a nice sandy white beach. I'm going to try over here. Oh, it's it's some, some cars. Right. Whoa! What is going on? Look at all the flags! Oh my god! I don't even know what flags they are. The Trinidad and Tobago flag is red with a black line through it. Here's a picture. So I wonder what these flags are, because they're like all red. Okay, last chance on Trinidad and Tobago. Oh! Okay, this looks nice. I'll be honest, Trinidad and Tobago, you've let me down. I'm gonna go to the Maldives, because I am craving a very specific kind of, like, white-looking beach. <laughs> I'll go right there, please. Yes! This is what I was after! Oh my god, I wanna go to the Maldives. Where where else can we go? Where else? Where else? Oh, look at the color of the ocean. Okay, I'm gonna take the Maldives <laughs> and I'm gonna just shove them in Scunthorpe, I think. That'll be nice. Okay, just bypass Asia, Africa, and here we go. Zoom in on Scunthorpe. <laughs> right, Maldives has been separated into two little islands. So if we put the top one in Scunthorpe, then the other one. Whoa, that's so weird. We're in Orkham and this place down here. Yeah, that triangle. That's where I did IRL Geoguess. That's where you end up when you put the North Maldives Island in Scunthorpe. This clearly means something. Okay, I realise we haven't had a faff about with Russia yet. And obviously Russia is ginormous, biggest country in the world. But it is nowhere near as big as it looks right there. Because if we drag it... Oh, look at the way it bends around. That is satisfying. Look at that. Yeah, if we drag it and we put it in Africa, it's still absolutely ginormous. Like, it goes all the way from Senegal over to Oman over here. But you can see it's a huge difference from how it is seen when it's up in the north. So let's grab the second biggest country, which I think is Canada. And we'll just put them next to each other so we can kind of compare them. Oh, all right, there it is. So you can see that there is still quite the edge on Russia in terms of size. But neither are anywhere as massive as they look when they're up here. I want to have a look at what else is on Street View. Now, Africa is where I'm interested in. Now, Sudan, for example, we only have two pictures. And this is it. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. There's like pharaohs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like Egyptian stuff in Sudan. Sudan actually has more pyramids than Egypt does. Alright, take me somewhere else cool. Kenya. Lots of stuff happening in Kenya. Here we- <gasps> It's a giraffe! <laughs> 
my god. Oh my god, there's giraffes and there's a posh hotel. And you could sit there having a scone while there's like giraffes looking at you. Oh my god, that's incredible. Hey guys, click that subscribe button. Don't do it for me, do it for the giraffe. If you've made it this far, you probably want to see more videos from me. So I'd really appreciate a subscription. Okay, we're going to go completely different. We're going to go in... Yeah, I want to go to like Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan and stuff. Because I honestly have no idea what these kind of places look like. Here we are in somewhere. I don't actually know where I clicked, but I like it. Whoa, this looks absolutely glorious. It just shows that there are just pretty places everywhere. Look how much fun these people are having. I, where are we? <laughs> I think we're in Kyrgyzstan there. That's absolutely amazing. But what about Tajikistan? Is there nice places in Tajikistan? We'll go right on the border. Oh my god. God, look at that. Look at the bridge. Look at the mountains. Look at the peacock statue. Okay, it's Uzbekistan. Congratulations. You get to go hang out with Iceland for a bit because that looks very pretty. I wonder where it puts us for the United Kingdom. So it doesn't just work like normal street view. It picks nice areas just in the vicinity. So if we go like in right in central London, will it still pick? Yeah, it still picks like a point of interest as opposed to just somewhere in the city. So what countries do we think of being around the same size? I'm thinking maybe like New Zealand and the United Kingdom. So what we'll do is let's confirm if that is the case by grabbing hold of New Zealand and shoving it next to the United Kingdom. Just move to Tajikistan out of the way. Have a nice little time in Greenland for a bit. Go on. Okay, so New Zealand's very large here, but when we bring it down, it is a lot bigger. So, like, the North Island in New Zealand is bigger than England, and it almost stretches all the way up to Scotland. So what about the South Island? The South Island's huge as well. Yeah, New Zealand's a lot bigger. Hang on, let me get the United Kingdom as well, just so we can see both. You assume they're about the same size, but New Zealand is a lot bigger. Well, what about Japan? Because I feel like that's a similar size and shape, but I reckon Japan's probably going to be way bigger as well. All right, drag him over. Here we go. And Japan's even bigger than New Zealand, like quite a lot bigger. All right, well, what else do we think's around the similar size as the United Kingdom? Oman, maybe? Yeah, go on. Oman is actually a reasonably similar size to the UK. You get to stay right there then. What about Madagascar? Let's have a look. We grab Madagascar, and obviously it's quite near the equator, so it's going to increase in size a little bit. Whoa, when it gets to the UK, Okay, it is a lot bigger. It's not as big as Japan. I'm having a lovely time dabbling around with all these long straight countries. Let me put them in size order. There we go. <laughs> so what about all the tiny like Oceania countries? We've got like Nauru and Tuvalu. Let's grab some of them. Nauru is right there. Oh, that's very, very, very small. There it is. So we're going to grab Nauru and we're going to do our best to drag it over to the UK. Oh God, this hurts my eyes. Where are we? I think we're in Asia somewhere. Here we go. Where are you? Where are you? Nauru is smaller than Leeds. Look at that. Oh, I tell you what we need to do. We we need to grab our little fella and shove us in Madagascar because I'm assuming we'll- Oh my god, yes, that looks incredible. <gasps> that looks absolutely epic. That looks incredible. Incredible. Okay, we need to look at more pictures of Madagascar because that looks amazing. Oh, little beach, little beach, yes. All right, again, 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 again. Oh, Madagascar just looks absolutely incredible, doesn't it? <gasps> We've not been to the Seychelles. Oh my God, Seychelles is sporadic. So Seychelles has got a bit of Seychelles all the way down here. All right, we are getting ourselves to the Seychelles. It better be nice because I mean... I Ah, oh, it's a building. I don't want to see a building. It's a nice looking building. It's in a nice spot, but it's no Madagascar, is it? Can we go to some more like little island spots. Yes, this is what I was after. Yeah, that looks glorious. Or oh, to be this lady. I am jealous of that lady. Seychelles, I'm sorry, but you're coming with me. We're putting you in the UK and we're going to see what you line up with. <laughs> right, so if we shove Seychelles in Scunthorpe. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> then that means that you also get a little bit of Seychelles. It travels a long way. We're like spreading across the Atlantic Ocean all the way over here. So Alaska is another one that gets massively distorted because of whereabouts it is, but it is still the biggest US state. But when we grab it and move it down into the continental US, is that what you call it? You see, it still absolutely dominates it. It stretches all the way from north to south. Then if we move it down into Africa, it becomes a lot more reasonable. It's still absolutely huge. You know, it's like bigger than Ethiopia, but it is nowhere near as ridiculous as it looks when it's up in the corner. But I do enjoy doing this. That's pretty satisfying. I encourage you to go on this website and just do this. You drag it all the way up and it's like, whoa. Oh my god, we've not done Antarctica. So Antarctica, because it's all the way at the bottom, looks absolutely huge, doesn't it? But hey, surprise, surprise. It isn't actually as crazy as it looks right now. So we grab it and watch this. Whoa. So obviously it's right at the tip of the South Pole. So on a flat map, it stretches all the way across the world. But as soon as you grab it, you realize that it is just a round island. It is a round island that is the entire size of Europe. And even several countries in Africa 
Africa as well. Oh, we are putting the South Pole in the North Pole. There we go. That looks great. I don't think I can grab the North Pole because there's like not really anything to grab. So I'll just grab Germany and I'll just shove that in the South Pole instead. So watch what happens when we shove Germany all the way at the bottom. It should go mental if we go far enough down. Hey, yes, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What have we done? Oh my god, what on earth is going on? Oh, look at them when they're like this. It looks like they're all like doing the can-can. <laughs> Oh my god, look at Germany as the new North Pole. What on earth? <laughs> can we go to Antarctica on the map, by the way? Oh, we can. There's a couple of little stations. Uh, oh, incredible. Tokyo is 14,000 kilometers that way. The North Pole is 18,000 kilometers that way. That's such a cool thing to have, isn't it? The rest of the area doesn't look great, but, you know, I will let them off. They are in Antarctica. All right, we're going to end off by going to one random country. I'm going to just type a letter with my eyes closed and then press the down arrow. It's Angola. So let's find something interesting in Angola. Here we go. Whoa! Bloody hell. That freaks you out when you look straight down. That is incredible. Well, we can end off all knowing that the earth is an absolutely beautiful place full of so many incredible things that we all need to explore and protect. Thank you for watching this Jackson's Geography episode. I will see you all later.